Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you add multiple tables to a report by using the Database Expert, you will automatically see the Links tab appear next to the Data tab within the dialog box. Here is where you can view, edit, create, and delete joins between tables within the report. When you click the Links tab in the Database Expert dialog box, you will see the tables which you have added to the report and also the associated joins between the tables which you've added to the report. The joins are represented as the thin black lines between the table diagrams displayed in this tab. Crystal Reports uses a feature called Auto Link to automatically create the necessary links between the indexed fields in the tables that you have added. Sometimes these may not be the joins that you would like to use in your report. You do have the flexibility to remove unnecessary joins and edit the joins that you want to keep. You may even create your own table joins if necessary and set the properties as desired. If you wish to delete a join between two tables, you can click the link to select it. The link will turn blue when it has been selected. You can then click the desired button at the right side of the dialog box to make changes to the selected link. You can click the Delete Link button to delete the selected link. You can also click the Link Options button to launch the Link Options dialog box. In the Link Options dialog box, you can set the join type, how to enforce the join, as well as the link type by selecting the desired option buttons within each section. We will examine how the choices that you can make within this dialog box will impact the data used for reports in the following sections. When you've made any changes to the link settings that you want to apply using this dialog box, click the OK button to return to the Links tab of the Database Expert dialog box. Also note that you can right-click on a link between tables and choose the Delete Link command to delete the link or choose the Link Options command to invoke the Link Options dialog box again where you can edit the link settings. If you want to delete all of the links that Crystal Reports generated for you automatically through the Auto Link feature, then you can simply click the Clear Links button. A dialog box will then appear asking you if you are sure that you want to remove all of the links. Click Yes to delete all of the links between all of the tables, or No to retain the links that have been set. When you are viewing the table diagrams within the Links tab, you will see the tables and fields. You can click and drag on the titles of the tables to rearrange their position on screen. You can place your mouse pointer over the border of the table diagram until you see your mouse pointer turn into a double pointed arrow. When it does this you can then click and drag to change the size and shape of the table diagram. This can be helpful to display all of the fields that you need to see in the table sketch you will often also see a small right pointing arrow next to some field names within the table sketches. These indicate fields that have an index or sorting order that's available to use. The primary key concept that we discussed earlier is actually a type of index. The color of the index shown indicates which order the index is. You can click the Index Legend button that appears on the Links tab of the Database Expert dialog box to launch the Index Legend dialog box. Here you can see the color coding used to signify the order of the indexes. The Primary Key Index is the first index. You can actually have several indexes on tables and you can see in the index legend that joins on indexed fields tend to produce report results more quickly. When you're finished looking at this dialog box, simply click the OK button to return to the Links tab within the Database Expert dialog box. In the Links tab, 
You can also click the Auto Arrange button to automatically arrange the table diagrams displayed in the Links tab in the most efficient manner for display within the Links tab. Also note, you can have Crystal Reports relink tables that you have selected if you have cleared the links. To do this, first select how to link the fields between the tables by choosing either the by name or by key option in order to link fields with the same name or with the same foreign key assignments. Now when you've made your desired choice, simply click the link button. Now if possible, Crystal Reports will then automatically create the links between the tables. Once again, you will need to double check these links to ensure that they will function for the report. When you have more than two tables involved within the links tab, the order in which the joins between the tables will be enforced could also be of great significance to how the set of records used by the report will appear. You can click the Order Links button in the Links tab of the Database Expert dialog box to launch the Order Links dialog box. In this dialog box you can set the order in which the links between the tables will be enforced. To change the order of the links used for the report within this dialog box, simply select the displayed link whose order you wish to change. The links will be executed from the top to the bottom within this list. Once you have the desired link selected, click the small up and down arrows within the dialog box to change the order of the displayed links. You can also check the Link Ordering as Enforced checkbox, which will ensure that the joins between the tables will be enforced in the order shown. When you have the joins set in the order that you want, click the OK button to set the join. In the Database Expert dialog box, you can then click the OK button when you are finished to set the links between the tables. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.